Hello, I'm Sarah Holland and in this series of guides I'm going to be showing you how you can transform your home with flowers and plants. Plants are a great way to transform your home because they're relatively cost effective, they have great health benefits for all the family and best of all the plants I'm showing you today are really easy care. We're going to be showing how you can transform your living room, your kitchen, your bathroom and your study simply by using flowers and plants. So enjoy. The hall is a really important place to have flowers and plants because it's going to welcome you and your guests when you enter the home. What we've done is use three simple ivies in simple silver containers which go really well with this colour scheme. Ivies are a great plant to use because they require very little care and very little light. You just need to give them half a cup of water every 10 days. Ivies are actually a symbol of fidelity in marriage so it's a really nice plant to use in a newlyweds home. If you team it with holly, they symbolise the masculine and feminine, bringing unity and good luck to your marriage for the coming year. They also symbolise friendship so nobody is left out. Most homes have a sideboard for storage purposes. This sideboard has a lovely collection of glamorous objects on it. We've used amaryllis to enhance these. We've used them hanging from a mirror here upside down. Amaryllis are actually really perfect for this purpose. You just need to pop a little bit of water down the hollow stem and hang it upside down. You can plug it if you like with cotton wool and it will last just as well as if it was in a vase. The best way to cut amaryllis is to lay it on a chopping board and then use a nice sharp knife just to cut straight through and then use some sellotape to wrap around the edge. As you can see we've done here. The best way to buy amaryllis is to buy it when it's in bud, make sure it's very well protected and wrapped from the shop on your way home and then they'll open up before your eyes. As you can see, you only need a few stems to make a huge difference. So here we've really transformed a dark corner with just a few plants. This window looks out onto a wall that you wouldn't necessarily want to see on your day-to-day -day view. So what we've done is brought some of the outside in with this Kentia palm. It requires hardly any care, it loves filtered light so it's perfect for this spot. All you need to do is water it every 10 days and give it a feed every two weeks. It also doesn't mind central heating so it's absolutely perfect for the lounge. We've also got some very easy care ferns here. All you need to do, exactly the same, spray them and then water them every 10 days. We're bringing the collection theme through here. The Victorians used to collect plants like this palm and have them in their lounge. So here we have two great ways to transform your lounge, your sideboard and your dark corner. On the sideboard, we've used amaryllis. These aren't just Christmassy plants, they're at their peak season in spring too. That glorious peach color really enhances the tones of this room so you don't just have to stick to red. And here, just three plants to completely transform the corner. So, you don't need to break the bank to transform your living space. They're easy care, they're value for money, and they'll last you for years. Whether you have a separate dining room, or a table in your kitchen, the dining table is always the hub of the family activity, whether it's breakfast, lunchtime, or dinner time. And what a transformation we've made here. We've decorated candelabras with seasonal flowers. We've got hyacinths, which perfume the room wonderfully, and we're also using roses with seasonal foliage. So for a simpler occasion or a more minimalist look, why not try some plants on your table? Here we've used heather in silver containers. They're not necessarily just for outdoor use. Bring them inside and enjoy them there too. We've also made little place settings of calancho, and we've used peppers as the place markers. This is a really fun thing to do. You don't just need to stick to normal vases as your containers for your flowers and plants. Have a go and have fun. So here we are in the bathroom, a room you're going to visit at least twice a day. Why not enhance that experience of a long, luxurious, bubbly soak with plants in your bathroom? They really thrive in the steamy atmosphere. What we've got here are Phalaenopsis or moth orchids and an Anthurium plant which is really interesting and tactile. If you live in a hard water area, the best way to care for these plants is to boil the water before you give it to them. Make sure it's cool before you pop it into their saucers. If you live in a soft water area, it's fine. You may want to filter the water first before you give it to them and they will thrive for months. The good thing about having plants in your bathroom is there's never a shortage of water.
Many of you have an area in your home where you may have your computer set up or even a designated office area, but why not enhance your health by adding a few plants? We've used here a peace lily. This is a great plant to use in your office, simply because it's really easy to look after and it removes most of the toxins produced by electrical equipment. We've just covered over the unsightly soil and plastic pot by using some sphagnum moss, so it's really easy to achieve this effect at home. This plant's leaves will actually droop when it needs water, so all you need to do is look at the signs, give it a cupful and it will perk right up for you. Behind me, I have a mother-in-law's tongue. This has actually been voted the best plant to boost health in office workers by the Dutch National Health Institute and the Applied Plant and Environmental Research Bodies in Holland, simply because of its air purifying qualities and its virtual indestructibility. It doesn't mind being pot bound, it doesn't mind being in the dark and it doesn't mind having too much water. So give it some every two weeks and it will thrive for you. And how about as an extra perk, adding a money plant for some prosperity into your office? So who would have thought just three simple plants into your office area can really improve your working life?